you sleep with your husband's brother, you have not committed any sin. Pastor Mrs. Veronica advises, it seems the pulpit that has overtaken by people with no morals. But whatever is the case, the true ministers will always be known. Popular female pastor of the Life of Faith and Prosperity Ministry, Asaba, Delta State, who recently declared that she was sent by God to heal men of their infertility problems, has made another statement in, in a church on Tuesday morning service by saying that a woman can have an affair with her husband's brother safely and she will not be said to have cheated on her husband. According to her, the husband's brother is almost the same as the husband and as such is still the same bloodline. She said a woman can only be said to have cheated on her husband if she had an affair with another outside. She encouraged married women who have brother-in-laws not to be afraid, but if they desire to have an affair with their husband's brother, that they should go ahead because that is their right and not cheating. She, since she still loves her husband, she said that such an act is, unclassif is, a classified as, is classified as cheating because it is still within the family and they are one blood, which explains why something or sometimes some family members call their brother's wife our wife, which means she belongs to everyone in the family and she can sleep with all the brother-in-laws. It is quite baffling that this is coming from a female minister and we want to hear people come want people want to, to hear people comments. Wow. <laughs> this woman, I don't think she's from God. She's been sent by the devil. A church should be closed down by Khan. She is a disgrace to Christianity. She's a disgrace to Christianity teaching people. She deserves to be disfellowship from the body of Christ. Because she is for, as an agent of the devil. I can't imagine someone seeing someone calling herself a man of God, saying, uttering such a statement. It's even better to give to the to, to, it's not even better. She can't even preach. Is it not better to go not to go to church than to go to this kind of a church that will be preaching such or uh, teaching, preaching such a uh, 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 sermon every Sunday about fornication and adultery. Jesus tested every spirit before believing it. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said, test every spirit before believing it. And by their fruits, we shall know them. So the teaching is simply satanic, purely against the word of God in every side. So we that goes to church, we need to be careful of the kind of church we go to or we attend. This woman doesn't know what she's saying. Because when someone is working for the devil, he says whatsoever he likes without caution. It is, where it is clear stated in the Bible that we should not sleep with one brother's wife because we uncovered our brother's nakedness. Bet this woman should better repent or face God's wrath. May God forgive her and the ministry she claims she has for going against his teaching. Let a preaching message well, Jacob cost one of this, his son for sleeping with his concubine. Do you think this woman even uh, uh, read the Bible, read the word of God? I don't think so, but if she does, she will not be saying such. We know what God says about someone fornicating. That is it. Beware. We should beware. We Christians, Nigerians, beware of false, falling angels. They appear like angels of light, but wolves in cheap clothing. 
we have warned, people have warned not to go to church that does not have the Spirit of God in, in them. Or not to go to church that does not have foundation. There was a time I went to a church. They were preaching about prosperity, prosperity. They have never for once, I went to the church, a friend invited me to that church. They have, I went to church like three times. They never for once preached salvation. All they preach is prosperity. Pay your tithe. You are blessed. You keep prophesying to your life. You keep asking to prophesy to your life. And when you prophesy to your life, your life will never remain the same. But they will never tell you sin. They will never tell you fornication. They will never preach about sin and fornication or salvation. Reuben, Reuben slept with his, with his father's wife. And he was cursed in the Bible. Where did this woman get to, to her own preaching? That says any man, any woman, married woman that sleeps with his in-law is not a sin. Whatever comes from a self-acclaimed minister is true. The popular pastor, Mrs. Veronica, who recently declared that she can heal men of their infertility by simply going to bed with them, has come again with another statement. When advices like this comes from a clergy or women or men, it leaves one surprised and confused as to whether to take the advice or not. Though to the globe, glow to the gullible, whatever comes from a self-acclaimed minister is true. So, a statement read, your brother-in-law is your husband, the same blood, that that is the same lineage. If something happens and you, you both have an affair, you have not cheated on him. But according to African culture, you are their wives. And that is why they call you their wives. Except you have an affair with another man outside. That is when you have cheated. According to the report, the Finnian minister said that in order for a wife to have something doing with her husband's brother, it means that she still loves her husband and belong to the family else, she would have done it with an outsider. She said such an act is not clarified as cheating because it is still within the family and they are one blood, which explains why sometimes some family members can call their wife, brother's wife our wife, which means she belongs to everyone in the family. It is quite baffling and surprising that such statement is coming from a female minister and we want that people believe that a minister of God, a minister, a woman that calls herself an ordained, anointed, an anointed man, an anointed woman. This is so surprising. So viewers, with what you have heard and listened to, Concerning the statement made by a woman of God, which is supposed to be um, preaching salvation and telling members not to fornicate or commit adulteries, but encouraging them to fornicate and commit sins. So what is your comment on this? Drop your comment below. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive notifications whenever I publish any new video. Likewise, click on the like button and share this news as well for others to also know what is going on in our communities. Thank you as you do. Have a wonderful day. Bye.